Investment related though. Investment related, but also okay. at the end, me and Eric have started something. We are campaigning for clients. I want your business, right? <laughs> Eric wants your business. So we have political commercials coming up okay. to sh for each other. Well, for me, I'm, I'm going after Eric today. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, nice. I didn't do that. Uh, anyway, speaking of these political people, uh, you know there's an ETF. I know Eric is somewhat new to this. They, and these are new ETFs, by the way. But uh, Nancy, N-A-N-C, and Cruz, K-R-U-Z, I talked about it on the closing beat. Uh, these are two ETFs that track the movements of the Democrats, the stocks that they buy when they get their insider information, which is totally illegal, so it's not that, and uh, the Republicans <laughs> as oh, well. But go back to that for a second. For anybody that doesn't understand, the idea that that they are able to make trades, just Let's do it. trades. Yep. Why like, are they so rich? Which is interesting because we actually have clients that work for the federal government who I know somebody was, they were doing an investigation and they were limited. They basically said, hey, I cannot have this stock, this stock, yep. this stock, this stock in my portfolio until this is done. Happens all the time. And yep. now the politicians- can Oh, not now. Or They're, not now, but always the politicians haven't had that issue. The one time I thought it was gonna be addressed, there was a full on weekend 60 Minutes episodes, they had people on, I mean, it was all over. They were like, how is this possible? There was like this temporary uproar. And by Monday it was like, hey, look over there, racist. You know, it was so weird how they just, they do that. And so that's the way it is, take it for whatever it is. But uh, whether you're Republican, Democrat, Pescatarian, or whatever you are, the Democrats are killing it. First chart we're gonna take a look at here. This is since these two ETFs started. Now they're very yeah. small, these are not big ETFs. So you're talking, uh, well, the Democrats have attracted more money to uh, Nancy. You're talking $28 million assets under management in Nancy. Yeah, not, not a lot of money for an ETF. 10 million sure. for Cruz. Okay. But gaining steam. And actually, I'll, I'll maybe try to show you the change in AUM there. So since the beginning of this year, the uh, assets that are inside of the Nancy ETF have doubled just yeah. this year. What is it? Freaking March? She's doing better than the market. Yeah. Doing better than any Kathy Wood. Everybody from Kathy Wood's going to go to, the, to Nancy. Oh, yeah, sure. They're just <laughs> so. killing it. I mean, it makes sense. You got people on these subcommittees and stuff that are like, wait a minute, you're going to do what to AT&T? Shoot. All right. And then they call whoever and make it happen. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, all right. So I thought what we would do today, uh, if you're into it, we'll look at the holdings of each one of these and see what we can determine from it. So the first one we're going to show is uh, this is the uh, the Democrats uh, ETF here? So old Nancy Pelosi and everybody else that follows her. Yeah. Um, what do you what do you think when you look at that? Uh, Nvidia, the top holding, that's yeah. obviously well, killed it. Nvidia's killed it. Um, you know, and Meta has has had a great run. Uh, um, Meta, by the way, they had their he had to go in front of Congress. Oh, it was a big deal, and then nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Uh, El, is it El, Ellie or Eli Lilly? Eli Lilly, baby. Eli Lilly, there mm -hmm. you go. Yeah, I mean, they, they've crushed it recently. Uh, CrowdStrike's been an interesting one. Um, had a little bit of a pullback, but then it's now kind of coming back. There were some things there. Netflix, Disney, there's a lot of political stuff going on that's been going on with Disney. Yep. Um, interesting, interesting. I'm trying to see if there's any others that really, really stand out to me. I mean, obviously, Microsoft's in there. Uh, done really well with with all the AI boom. Popular names, right? You look through most oh, all all of them. You know, popular names. Yep. Tesla at the very bottom as far as holdings go, which has you know been hit or miss here recently. Most of you will look at this list and go, yeah. I mean, I, one way or another, I've heard of these names, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go on down to the Republicans. Okay, let's do. Let's go. All right, Nvidia top holding there. So obviously there's a subcommittee uh, for AI or whatever, and they're both on that one. So they've done well. Both have the same performance there. Now start looking at the other names. I, I will say though, Comfort Systems is one that recently just uh, had really good earnings that came out, and it's interesting because it's it's recently just kind of had a nice jump up. Yep. Did somebody know that? You know. Ah, right, what's that? <laughs> by the way, like, like that's where it, it sparks my curiosity on that. That is out of all these stocks, that is the most overbought stock on. All. Or for all of them there, uh, um, since earnings there. Biggest change. All right, so. Yeah, just take a look at some uh, of the names, you know. Hey, and you guys too, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah. So, so so, not as many names, but also looking here, and this is kind of, is, is kind of comical, because, uh, you know, you think like liberals and conservatives. This is a much more conservative built portfolio. You yeah. start to see how, you know, oh, yeah. you know, finance, banks in here. Where's you know, Disney now? That, things that aren't, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're, you're looking just, but just in general of, of you know a conservative portfolio that you'd bet out versus a more aggressive portfolio it seems as though you know and obviously it's paid off for the democrats having a higher return there i look at it 
in a, a similar way. First, the Republicans need to pick it up, man. Would more shady stuff, whatever they got to do. Let's come on. Let's get some more information. <laughs> k- k- pick it up, guys. Right. Yeah, and I, I mean, can say that because yeah. it's the they're allowed to do it. So I can say, hey, guys, wake up, man. Pay attention in these meetings and start getting some stock picks. But if you look at both lists there, there are some names that are the same. I'm just going to use one. Uh, Philip Morris. Yeah. All right. So Philip Morris is held by both of them. Mm-hmm. What do you think the odds are of some major tobacco legislation going through that is detrimental to the performance of that company? Slim. Yeah, slim to none, right? So that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, you look at these names, you go, here and saying that. Oh, okay, so you're both on the same page. You're both hearing the same information. You're both talking about that stock. Well, we don't want it to hurt their pocketbooks, right? Yeah. So there's nothing that's going to happen there. Uh, you would look at something like AT&T. They're not on both lists, but you look at AT&T. Oh, okay, you think there's going to be some major telecom issue there? If AT&T wants to buy somebody, you think they're going to get in the way? No. Could it be that AT&T is going to buy somebody and that's going to help them or something? I don't know. I'm just I'm throwing ideas out. You, you know what you're not seeing is uh, what I'm seeing here on the top are things that, you know, like you see these mergers, like a, what was it, Spirit Airlines recently yep. had the opportunity possibly in the whole merger mm. or getting bought out. You're not mm. seeing any of that stuff going on. It's like, hey, we're not, we're not you know. Because, that got shot down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're probably, you know, betting against that. So the point <laughs> of like today was like, hey, you don't look at that and say, I'm going to buy these too. You look at that and go, oh. I own that one. I own that one. Oh, I'm probably safe, right? Well, yeah. Because they're not going to do something that's going to tank a stock. Oh, great. Okay, perfect. Whew. Great. Yeah. By the way, what do you think? Should this be allowed? No, I've, I've never agreed with this in general. And for the general public not being able to do it, people that work for the federal government who aren't you know, part of Congress, and now we're going to say, hey, they can do it. And, and having the access to some of the things that they know. There are 535 of them and there are 300 million of us. They work for us, but yet the rules don't change. Yep. I find that fascinating. Yep, no, I agree. Hit me, what you got? I've been telling people about the benefit eating dried grapes, raising awareness. That's not a thinker. Come on, he's like, oh, it's gonna be a thinker. I, I didn't know if you would get like the raisin thing, cause like raisin awareness. Yeah, it's been I, a while, I, but I, I've done some raisin in my life. Okay. Yeah. I, um, I'm going to go more motivational for you guys. Oh, motivational. Eric's always a little nervous about the jokes I'm going to tell, so I'm going to go a little motivational. Okay. Right? You ever wake up and you think, oh, man, I got financially, I can't do it. You know, I just, I can't do it today. You know, you're like, you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I want you to remember that every morning a crackhead wakes up and does not say, I'm too broke to tweak today. He gets out and he makes it happen. Right? That's motivation for you. That's motivation. <laughs> We're campaigning for clients. This is my commercial to attract clients to come to me and not you. You ready? Oh, okay. See what you think. Let's see what we got. The financial world needs somebody they can trust and also somebody who is professional. If you have a snowball in your left hand and one in your right hand, what do you have? Frosty's full attention. Eric Powell is not professional. (laughs) Eric Powell is a radical political insider, despite saying that he isn't. He also definitely has ties to the Illuminati. He's on the record being a radical West Coast elite. So I actually lived in Los Angeles for nearly two years. Let's hear that again. I lived in Los Angeles for (laughs) nearly two years. Unprofessional, political (laughs) insider, West Coast radical elite. Dustin Tibbetts is the Southern gentleman you need and a man (laughs) of the people. Justin Tibbetts, a man that would never cross the line with a joke. And more importantly, (laughs) always money first. Wow. Yeah. Dirty. Gotcha, dirty, man. Dirty. You're Even going the, joke, the joke that was intent. I read this joke and I really thought, like, you know, that was the whole thing with like snowballs because you're going to throw the snowballs. Ah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. the most. And now here I am. That's what like, they do to Biden it and is. Trump. He says one thing and they cut the little they, piece. They and all they get ripped. Yeah. And so now it's, I'm on the receiving end of this. You're going down, man. Dang. Join us here. Join me here at Jazz I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, you get ready. You get ready. It's coming for you.